Okay, ranking the Omen franchise. Dear Lord, here I go, diving back into the Omen series. Lucky me. Just kidding. I like this series, but um, I did abandon it for a bit. I reviewed all of them. One, two, three, four, the remake, and the first Omen that came out this year. But I never got around to actually ranking all of them, which I want to do, because... Because why not? <laughs> This is a doozy because my between my favorite and least favorite, like second place, third place, it's a big drop. So I'm gonna go from least favorite to most favorite. Starting with the least favorite, let's jump right into it. This probably isn't a shocker. My least favorite is The Omen for The Awakening. Oh, this movie makes me want to hurl. <laughs> I absolutely just don't like it. The acting is so cringe. Everything's annoying. The little girl Delia is absolutely insufferable. I hate the new age mysticism that they try and do. It just shouldn't exist. I, I hate that they even brought Damien's name into this one. It should, if they wanted it, they should have done standalone because there's so many questions with that. The ending is so anticlimactic. There's really nothing I love about this. The deaths are so cheesy, especially the first one. Absolutely, absolute cringe. So I don't really need to say much more about it, okay? It just, I just didn't like it. Fifth place, I am going to give to The Omen 2. Ooh, that might be unpopular, but I really didn't like this one. I found it boring. It was supposed to be about Damien coming to terms with his devilish heritage, but he's kind of absent the whole movie. And, and, and there's all these men from the Thorn Empire. I'm like, who's who? Who's good? Who's bad? Um, I hated all the deaths in these movie. It looked about as real as it actually was. Uh, I hated the scene where Damien, like, telepathically messes with one of the kids. I hated the end, really. The, the plot twist kind of didn't work for me and it was so abrupt and the pace was all over the place for me. I really, really didn't like this one. And, and every single time somebody finds the smallest thing out about Damien, they die like clockwork. It's just predictable. It was lather, rinse, repeat. It was... It just didn't have sustenance for me. I, I just, just not great. However, it is better than the fourth one because I do actually like the idea of exploring Damien. And also this movie had such a cool opportunity when Damien figures out that he is indeed the Antichrist. They had such a cool opportunity to explore whether or not the Antichrist can deny his birthright or what's he gonna do. But I hated how the scene was executed when he figured out what he was just, you know, running and ah i just didn't like it and i hated the ravens i hated the ravens i, I mean i i i i absolutely love the rottweilers and so i hate that they didn't utilize these in this movie so that's another thing again i like the concept of it i think they could have done so much more with it and and the and the fact that this one was the one that followed up the first omen which was such a huge success is just upsetting. Okay, so there's the fifth place. Fourth place I am going to give to The Omen 2006. And the only reason this is higher than The Omen 2 is because of that last scene. I love how they executed that last scene. Um, I reviewed this one. Uh, give it a watch if you want to. Um, but the, the, the kind of the finale is absolutely beautiful. And I, I describe how I love the lighting. I love the music. I love the acting when he's holding up the dagger extended above his head about to, you know, to Damien. I mean, it made me feel something. So I really, and I, and I, I absolutely cherish the end of the first omen. And this is, the 2006 one is obviously a reboot. It's, it's almost exactly the same. There's a couple little bit of changes, but it's almost exactly the same as the first one. But I love how they executed the end scene. Everything else about this one wasn't great. Even Julia Stiles in this didn't do 
all that much for me, unfortunately, because I do love her. I didn't really love this Damien, the actor. Um, I thought he was a little bit too ominous and creepy. The, the one in the first, well, we'll get to it, but, but the one in the first one, I like how he was more kind of a cute, innocent kid. This Damien was not all that innocent, so I didn't really like the portrayal of it. There's some kind of twist, there's, there's some kind of like difference of the deaths that I didn't love, and it's, it's kind of rooted in a modern age, which... I didn't love either. So, I mean, I love this. I think the reason why I rank this one higher is because I just, I love the original storyline of the original Omen, and this one does follow that. There's nothing really that the modern age technology did to give it the edge over the first one, in my opinion, but I love the story, and um, I did think some scenes were executed beautifully. So, that's why I rank it fourth. Okay, third place goes to The Omen 3. And I think this might be an unpopular opinion. I liked The Omen 3. I, I did. It has kind of a nasty edge to it with the whole killing all the babies that were born between this time and this time so that we kill <laughs> uh, the Nazarene. But I particularly lo loved the long monologues that Damien does. I thought the actor did a great job. I love some of the scenes like the fox chase. I love the idea of the seven priests with the seven daggers of Megiddo on a mission to kill the Antichrist together. Uh, unfortunately, as I kind of explained in my review, that kind of becomes a mere subplot, but I love that idea. And also the, <laughs> the seven priests, some of them do a pitiful job, <laughs> full stop. But I love that idea. I think it's pretty badass. I love Father uh, De Carlo. I think that character is awesome. I just think things fit more together in that one. And I think it, uh, and while I hate the ending, it is suitable uh, for the trilogy, the first, second, third, for, you know, the end of Damien, if you will. It is a suitable ending. I don't love how it's executed, but I love that we saw some real raw emotion in this Damien. And, as I expect, because it is the adult Damien at 32 years old, I believe. Um, so I, I like that. I like that he was kind of now leading a, a, a huge following. And I love how the character was charismatic. I love how they portrayed the character of Damien. And, you know, alone, he's doing all these big monologues and he's creepy and this and that. But then in public, he's he's charismatic. He's holds a high-ranking position. So I thought things work together nicely. While it does have its flaws, it's better than the other ones I've gone through so far. In second place, we've got the new one, the prequel, 2024, The First Omen with Nell Tiger Free. I love this movie. And this is also an unpop unpopular opinion, I think, but I love prequels because I love um, questions that I didn't even know to ask being answered for me. So I thought they did a good job of this. I love how it was filmed. I love the acting. They gave us kind of a great character to root for. We get to see how Damien was conceived. Um, well, this one does have flaws too, which I talk about. I like the story of this. I think the pacing's nice. Everything fits together nicely. It's compelling for me. And I love the setting. And I think they do a good job with the kills. And um, it, it brings back that familiar feeling of the omen. And, and they also go to places we didn't think that they were gonna go to. The overall theme of this one, it, well, what I took from it is basically the theme of violation from the inside out. And they go all out. So I appreciate that about any movie. And I was I was engaged in this. It was just a solid movie and a solid prequel. Definitely will be rewatching. So my number one movie in the Omen franchise is, shocker, Richard Donner's The Original Omen from 1976. <laughs> This movie's brilliant. I absolutely love it. I think it was one of the highest grossing movies in 1976 for obvious reasons. It's iconic. The slow burn approach worked so well for it. I love how the forces of evil are more understated. They're not wild or chaotic. I love the Damien in it. I think the Damien was the perfect mix of adorable yet so creepy with his facial expressions. 
I love the whole plot of the movie, the story, the journey that we go on with Robert and Keith. I love the omens that are actually in the movie. Uh, I like the pictures build up. I like the cryptic warnings from Father Brennan. I like that we have a character that doesn't really understand his situation. I like how the atmosphere contributes to the overall feeling we have. Hopelessness, kind of, we know what's gonna, we kind of know where things are heading, but we're, we, we kind of are hopeful, but then we kind of lose it because we're like, wait a minute, can we beat the Antichrist? I love the nanny. I am here to take care of the, I mean, come on. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, the ending is brilliant, as I have said so many times. What, you know, you think's gonna happen feels wrong, but is right. But what you, what actually happens feels right, but is wrong. I love how the movie plays with you on that. And it's, it's an emotional ending and it, and, and you feel it and you think about it as days gone by. I don't love, you know, that perfect happy ending. So I, I just thought that everything was written perfectly. The script was nice. It's a solid movie and I understand why it is a horror classic because it's just top notch. So, so there's my rankings. Let me know your rankings. I'm sure people will disagree, but this is what I think of the Omen franchise. And I personally think that the first Omen revived this a little bit, but <laughs> the Omen series in general, was a bit doomed after the first. I mean, the first was just fabulous and then it went kind of downhill, sadly, um, but it's still iconic. There's no doubt I'm gonna revisit all of these again, even though some of them I absolutely hated. Uh, so there's my rankings on the Owen franchise. Let me know your rankings and um, catch me next time. Peace. Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast.